Disney princesses turned into mermaids <laughs> and tigers and monkeys grew fins. Wow. Watch Lalalu to see all the magical transformations. Once upon a time, Elsa was taking a walk on the beach. She decided to take a break, watch the sea, and listen to the sounds of a seashell. Suddenly, she heard a whisper. Today is the only day you can enter the underwater world and become a mermaid for a day. Let's make a tail out of blue fabric and lace. Measure the doll and cut out the right piece. Join two identical pieces and turn them right side out. Make a silver top out of a brocade ribbon. Wow. Decorate the central part with a metal starfish. Make two pairs of fins out of synthetic lace. The third pair of fins will be made of soft plastic from a stationary folder. Glue all the fins to the edge of the tail. Elsa is ready to become a real mermaid. <laughs> she can swim anywhere she wants with her beautiful new tail. When you are in the underwater kingdom, you need a seahorse. Take tin foil, some wire, toilet paper, and a small ball Elsa bra. <laughs> Make a hole in the ball. Pull a wire through it. Shape it to make a seahorse. Add more texture using toilet paper. Coat it with tape. A few layers and the frame is ready. Cover it with tin foil. Add layers of modeling clay. Work on the face. Add eyeballs and the brow ridges. Make a holder out of plant support stakes. Install it into Shelly limestone rocks. Make a first layer of white acrylic paint and a second one of blue acrylic paint. Cut ears out of transparent fabric. Add more texture with a modeling tool. Make a round seat out of light clay. Attach the ears to the head and paint over the attachment points. Let's add pupils and highlights. Elsa brought us some <laughs> synthetic lace and organza fabric. It will help us create a mane. Cover the seat with Elmer's glue and sprinkle with glitter. Add a brocade ribbon. Make a bridle out of a corset lace and metallic cardboard circles. Elsa got on her favorite horse. <laughs> it's great that you can come with me even underwater. Cut the ends off a plastic snowflake and prepare some Christmas decorations. Decorate the stone with them to imitate seaweed. Jasmine also wants to check out the underwater world. I found these amazing fabrics on the stone. It's perfect for my mermaid outfit, that's for sure. The first layer of the tail will be made with athletic fabric. Coat it with lace. Make a top out of sequin fabric. Add a seashell to the center and paint it white. Make gorgeous straps out of metallic synthetic fabric. What a nice sparkly piece of plastic. Cut out a few pairs of fins and glue them to the bottom of the tail. These pins are so sparkly. They can become sapphire earrings for Jasmine. Decorate the hair with a ribbon. Attach a gold shell to the center of the headband. Jasmine turned into a perfect mermaid. <laughs> Ariel was chilling under palm trees and drinking a cocktail. I hear someone flying. It's a stork who brought fabrics for me. Now I totally have to visit the underwater world. I haven't been there for ages. Use athletic fabric and some lace to make a comfy tail. Open a shell and cover it with metallic acrylic paint. Add silver brocade straps to the top. <laughs> Blue plastic plus green plastic equals beautiful fins. Cover the blue ones with mesh fabric. 
apply glittery acrylic paint to the green fins. A starfish painted yellow decorates Ariel's hair. <laughs> the Little Mermaid is ready to go back home. <laughs> Make a purse, paint the outside blue and the inside silver. Glue on an accessory chain and small rings. Elsa carries perfume in her purse. Take a plastic pendant. Cut a piece of a straw. Glue it to the bottleneck and make a dot with a marker. I'll spray it a couple of times. I love this scent! Elsa put her favorite perfume inside her purse. Olaf is here to go with Elsa. Use styrofoam to shape the body and the head. A spool of wire turns into two small arms. Add hair, pupils, and eyebrows. Hello, miss me? I just got fins made out of clear plastic. It was super unexpected. I have been afraid of water my whole life, and now I don't melt in it because of magic. Let's make flounder. What fish should I choose? Let's take this one. Cover it with white paint. Then paint it yellow. Paint the fins blue. Paint the face. <laughs> Stormy the seahorse wants to go with Ariel. We painted the toy purple. And now let's paint the eyes. Use a light shade of felting wool to make a thick mane. Glue a pair of plastic ears and a seat. Stormy is such a good seahorse. No wonder he's Ariel's favorite. I am so happy we're traveling in the underwater world together. Let's use these plastic shell-shaped pendants to make a compact. We'll use this metallic cardboard as a mirror. Choose the right shade and cut out a circle. I need waterproof makeup when I'm traveling underwater. <laughs> Raja wants to take a swim. We made a figurine and covered the face with acrylic paint. Draw yellow eyes, black stripes, make the nose and the ears pink. Cut a piece out of short artificial fur. Use it to make chest fur and mutton chops. Tie on a gold brocade ribbon. Attach a seat to it. My little tiger, you are ready to come with me on all my adventures. I wish a boo were here too. Make a monkey figurine out of light clay. Add eyes. Draw eyebrows. Make hair and sideburns out of felting wool. A boo has a purple hat made out of light clay. Cut pieces and make a vest for the monkey. <laughs> Abu really missed us. Now everyone's here and I am so happy. Cut a circular piece out of soft plastic from an old boulder. Give it some texture. Glue the bottom to a gold shell and highlight the fan with acrylic paint and glitter. Inside, there's a small gold pearl that is attached to a brocade ribbon. <laughs> now every princess has her own accessories. <laughs> Flounder, nice to meet you. I'm Olaf, the very first underwater snowman, a local celebrity. Oh, another fan of my jokes. <laughs> glug, glug. Guys, we need to leave now. It's time to go back to shore. Abu and Flounder swim away to tell the princesses about Olaf. Jasmine and Ariel just laugh. We have already heard so much about him. Raja, Noki, and Stormy turned into such beautiful seahorses. The princesses are having so much fun underwater. Let's have a race to that reef and back. Who turned into the fastest seahorse? Comment below. Like our video, subscribe to Lalaloo, and click the bell 
so you don't miss any of our new videos.